Well, if humans are to have any future living on the moon, we'll need a supply of water. Today's mission was to investigate if it exists there in significant quantity. The planet's south pole was chosen as the target. Some craters there are permanently in shadow, so they're very cold, upping the odds of there being ice. NASA sent up a huge spacecraft, which separated into two parts. The first, larger section, smashed into the lunar surface at over 5,000 miles an hour. It was hoped that would throw up debris six miles into space, with the trailing module then flying through the dust cloud, analysing the particles for traces of water before hitting the surface itself. The actual pictures, however, were rather less inspiring. There were no spectacular flashes and no obvious signs of flying debris. The scientists, though, insist it was a success. I can certainly report there was an impact. We saw the impact, we saw the crater, and we got good uh, measurements, spectroscopic measurements, which is what we needed, of uh, the, the impact event. So we have the data we need to actually address the questions we set out to address. And that's the fundamental bottom line. That's what I hope I, you know, take away today is, I'm not going to say anything about water or no water, but we got the measurements we need to address the questions. Analysis is also being done on telescopes on Earth. They're looking out for dust in the atmosphere over the moon's south pole created by the two impacts. A lot is riding on this experiment. In May, President Obama ordered an independent review of NASA's plans for human spaceflight after the retirement of the shuttle next year. If it turns out there is water on the moon, it could give NASA the boost it needs.